Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Back again, gonna have a little uh, show and tell. Um, show some of our goods that we picked up yesterday and then uh, got a uh, call this morning and actually met up with our uh, whole mountain, bud, mountain man buddy that uh, lives in the hills up, up uh, above the call in New Meadows way up in the, the boonies on his homestead and he brought a couple of things down too but anyway first I want to start off with this uh, this spinning wheel that I uh, actually know uh, really nothing about <laughs> always me and Kitty actually we had some friends that uh, at the flea market old Fuzzy and um, I can't remember his last name shouldn't have passed away of cancer but Man, she's a neat gal, both of them great people, and man, and the, uh, Fuzzy did, uh, Mountain, Mountain Man Rendezvous and all that stuff, and, and then at the flea markets, and we sat up with them for years, or, you know, buy them, not with them, but, anyway, you'd go over, and boy, she'd be sitting there, and, uh, you know, and they'd be, wear all their Pioneer stuff, and she'd be sitting over there, her wheel, her spinning wheel was a lot bigger than this one, but she'd be sitting over there, and just, you know, we'd go over and talk, you remember talking to her and mm -hmm. stuff? Yeah. yeah. She'd just sit over there and, and she'd t say how it was all a rhythm, you know, because it, so here's the little foot pedal down here. So obviously you sit on that side, you know, and you got your wool or whatever over here and it feeds up through here. This is some kind of spool thing here that I don't, I have no, like I said, I have no no idea it's either wore off or something anyway man i really don't know nothing about these you know we got on and goog did some googling and um stuff looking it up and you know man you can part them out i really don't want to part them out so i'm just gonna put the mother on like there i don't know if it's complete or you know, man, you look, I mean, there's so many different styles and everything of them, so I really don't know. That's a little spinning wheel. It's cool. I told Miss Kitty it'd look cool just sitting in a corner, but when you live in a two-bedroom cabin... <laughs> there's not a lot of corners. corners. <laughs> so then, some other stuff, and actually, when we were down below yesterday, uh, you know, my kids, they've all been raised around junking and all that, too, and Kevy D, you know, he's going to school down there in the flatlands. And he told me he had some, or had found something that he wanted me to put on for him. And he found this when he's because he's been spending a lot of time with the snow and all that. And he got flooded out and actually has been staying down with his uh, with Mackenzie, his girlfriend, because his whole house got flooded out, man, three inches up the side of his bed, and his guns got wet, computers, and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, he picked this thing up. This thing is amazing. It, uh, I think it's like. A, you know, somebody out there obviously know. I think it's like a B-52 bomber, but then it's got the almost like the boat, boat nose, nose on it and stuff. So I really don't know what kind of plane we tried to research it. So those propellers. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. And then these. I mean, this thing is just quality. It's a you know, it's cast, but these are like bolts. I mean, this thing is just yes. remar yeah, just remarkable, amazing. I just always love showing all these. You know, you sell online, you don't get to talk about the things and all that. And I mean, this thing, it's, and it's heavy too. Just a quality piece. Okay, that Kevin D, that was Kevin D's score. So then, I guess we'll jump over to, got a, actually, Miss Kitty had one of these that she used for years. This is an old, uh, this is the real McCoy. This isn't one of those repop ones that you see around and everything. I mean, this is a quality made. If you wa follow the um, the wire, you can follow this wire all the way around. It's got a little bit of bend there. But you can follow this wire, and I think it's just one, one piece, piece of wire yeah. all the way around. Yeah. But it's an egg basket. Cool, cool egg basket. On oh, this, I'll just throw this hunter, uh, hunter uh, holster that I'll be throwing on. I actually, it's mine for my little 22 right here, is all breaking up in war. And... I had the pistol with or the 22 with me, but I didn't have it, you know, I didn't carry it in the store or nothing, or in the 
Actually, Kevin got this, didn't he? Yeah. Kevin D did. picked this up. Yeah. Thinking that it might fit this, but it's a little too too big for my for this pistol. So I think it fit more like a 38 or 44 or a, something like that. Just throw that. That's not something. That's kind of a common one. What else we got here? Oh, I'm sharing all my goodies, man. This old bottle, and I was so excited when uh, he pulled this out, because when we were up in, uh, we're big time, bottle, uh, digging bottles, you know, and going find the privies and stuff on the old um, homesteads and stuff like that, and years ago in the motorhome days, um, I specifically remember I found in Granite, Oregon, Man, I found the biggest dump that I, man, this whole, I mean, hillside, it was, man, I don't even, 50 or 80 yards wide, just all, just insane, man, blue glass, green glass, just everywhere, you know, with a lot of, just broke up, just pieces and stuff of glass. When we were down there digging, I dug up, man, first I dug up this top, and it was, man, it was this exact same bottle, and I dug up this top, and I could just see like this, you know, and of course this had uh, rotted away, you know, the wood, but the wire was still on there and the lid was all rusty and just jammed on there. And man, so I started digging it out, digging it out, all trying to be careful, and the, what I dug out was just the top. And it went across and you could make out the gallon, and it was just this top. And man, I was so bummed, you know, I mean, it stuck with me for over 20 years. You fell asleep over there? Well, I'm not falling asleep. Yeah. But anyway, so then when I seen this one yesterday, man, I was just ecstatic, man, because I love my bottles and all that. This is one of those ones that I probably put on, but, man, I really don't even care to <laughs> make, make an awesome sun tea jar. Man, it's got the big the lids a little, got a little bit. I was telling Kitty I could just, yeah, it's got you know, nasty in sand there. it down, paint it, and put a rubber seal thing in there. But look at it, man. That's so nice. cool. I love this stuff. And then this old uh, copper um, copper tone or uh, ooh, solid copper, but it looks like it's solid. Yeah, copper. sure looks like it. Mm -hmm. This is how you test copper. If it's copper, a magnet that's solid copper. A magnet will not uh, um, you can always tell a recycler or a junker will have a magnet. See, and that's uh, so this is solid copper. Copper or a magnet will not stick to copper. If it's metal, it'd stick to it. It's a, so, a sol solid copper. Uh, what do they call them? A uh, nautical or jelly jar? Yeah, jelly jar. Exterior light. Old exterior light. And this actually came off a uh, my buddy's old uh, cabin. It's pretty much falling down. Eventually, I'm going to get a bunch of that wood, and we're trying to fix it up so he can still store stuff in it. But this came off of his old. Uh, Cabin on his homestead. This thing is awesome. What else we got here? This little, uh, this little clay, handmade clay flute. I've sold quite a few of these. It's just a little. That's kind of, you can put on the strap mm -hmm. around your neck. Right, yeah. yeah, it's got the little hold. You put it around your neck. It's a little, uh. A little whistle. Yeah, but it's, uh, I don't know which, uh, Native Americans make those and stuff, but it might be a might come out of X guy, I don't know. And then these old ones, you know, these are old bird whistles. See a man hand painted. It's crazy. <whistles> they work good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are pretty pretty unique and cool. This old uh oh no, this was in a box with some, a few other things when I pulled it out. Man, you look at that. And I think um, that it was a, or it's one side to, or a bookends is what I think it is. It's pretty heavy. You know, it's all man, Red it's or solid. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's pretty heavy. heavy. And then it's got like the brass lion on there. It's pretty dang amazing. Yeah. If there is supposed to be two of them, I'd love to have two. But you putting it up against the, you know, like we do our books, we put them up different places and stuff anyway, or just put it up on a shelf, man, mm -hmm. it's pretty dang, pretty dang cool. Another old bottle that he brought, 
And this one uh, is. Um, can you read it? I'm going to do that. Over. Portugal. A little cork top. Rose wine. It's a little uh, nice. Metals are silver top there. Kind of a cool little. When I first got it, I thought I'd use it for tinctures and stuff, but I think I actually got a little bit of value to them. And then the copper, me and Miss Kitty, we always have a hard time with any getting rid of any copper because we love our copper. Copper with the brass feet, a little cauldron, I guess would be type of deal. And this one was from from Turkey, made in Turkey, and all hand hand hammered. Nice and heavy, thick yeah, gauge. It's pretty cool. This thing is pretty dang cool. When I got seen it, the first thing I said was the copper planter pot thing here. And it slips in here like that, so then you got like this bamboo looking, uh, it's, I think it's a heavy plastic, you know, this, but it looks like bamboo. But the cool thing is you can unscrew it, so you could actually stash some... Hide something in there. Yeah, it. some ammo or some money or whatever, and who the heck's gonna... Especially if you got a Flower plant run out of there, and you could put like a... Uh, because it ain't got holes, so you could actually grow what we used to have one we gave it to Katie Joe, a little bamboo plant that we yeah, grew the for lucky years. Bamboo. Growing rocks that you can put in there. This thing is just amazing, beautiful. I can't believe you got it down. Yeah, they haven't washed that up yet. Yeah, it needs to be wiped, wiped it down. But it's the dogwood flowers on it, which is my favorite, you know, because I do my dogwood stuff. And then it's got the little birds. And it's all a metal... Was a vanity? Vanity, yeah, type. Yeah, a little vanity mirror, a little war on the back, but that is just beautiful quality. Quality nice. Another little handmade broom. I was going to use it out in the shop, but Kitty told me no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but a nice little countertop or whatever, handmade, hand tied broom. That's pretty dang cool. What else we got? We've got some knives over well, there. I got this little thing. Oh, I got some knives too. And this, man, little stained glass, all quality. Candle. Handmade stained can glass. Candle thing, maybe? Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll put it up in the window. It's some catcher. Yeah, it'd be a beautiful thing. Those little tea lights mm -hmm. so you don't put, you know. Man, right. just amazing. Beautiful. It's much to me. I don't like that holster if it's really worthy. Right. This is some other stuff we pulled out of that. This, some of this came out of, you know, some came from my buddy this morning, the older, actually just a handful. The old light, the bottle, and the chicken basket. But the other stuff came out of that one we were talking about when I tried to get down there and get in that old guy's barn before. And he had quite a, quite a bit. I was trying to work a deal with him, got a few things, and uh. I think he's been watching too much uh, antique roadshow. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people do that. But nice, nice guy, and I actually gonna go back and get some more stuff. And then this, it's all hand hammered. Copper. Or co yeah, copper. What did I just say? Hand oh, hammered. Hand hammered copper. So you're throwing me off. So you should. Be you didn't say copper. You just said hand hammered. You'd look a lot prettier doing this. Mm -hmm. and then it's all. Hand nailed around the edge. Yeah. I mean, it's totally. It's definitely talent. It looks really yellow in the camera in the here. Camera, no, it's, it's copper. copper. Yeah, it's copper. And then I don't know if they. Um, For some kind of. Using or whatever. Yeah, yeah, colored it, man. And I mean, it's got the. Patina looking. Yeah, it's got patina. Green, and then, patina yeah, it's just amazing how they did that. I love that. I love that. And then this thing that. This kitty grab because she's just into them pyramids and all that. Egyptian scarab. Yeah, Egyptian thing. It's got those Egyptian, what are the ladybug thing or the scarabs? Beetles or what? Is that scarabs. what they're called? Scarabs? Scarabs. Yeah, they're scarabs. I'm, I'm saying that quite right. It's kind That's of a crazy, crazy. Whoa, it's marked. Did you know that? Yeah. Wow. It says Benedict. Huh? Benedict. That's what it says? Yeah. Oh, you already told us to look at it? Yeah. Oh, man, I can break up the glasses. Yep, Benedict. What is that? It's just a Benedict 512. All right, so we got that, and then uh, Miss Kitty still got to beautify. I've got the 
couple more. Got another one. This is good. Badger. Badger claw. This one has got a longer. Uh, well, I gotta fix that blade there. Um, we got a little dandy raven beak. And you got the little uh, longer raven beak or crow's beak. You got those three. Like I said, Miss Kitty will. She does the final sanding and puts the biz, beeswax on it, makes it all beautified, and tells me what stuff I need to take back out and <laughs> readjust and fix and all that. So. So man, that's uh, some of the treasures that we got yesterday. That's pretty much all of them. Then we got our supplies at Bymart. Had a wonderful day. The cabin was cold, super freezing cold. <laughs> we got back up here, and then it got down to one below. And then last night, man, stoking up the fire, trying to have propane heaters and everything, trying to get that. You know, once the walls get cold. Man, and uh, we ended up going to bed before we ever got it warm in here. You know, the walls warm and everything. And we got electric blankets. It was cranked up last night, and then got up this morning at 6:30, and holy smokes, man, it was cold. Now we got it a nice uh, 70 degrees and nice and cozy. You tell me, I got a time limit? Yeah, it's right. I want to run out. All right. Well, you all have a wonderful day, and. Um, check out this stuff will be on all this stuff will be on eBay the Idaho hillbilly on follow, eBay. follow the links below follow the links below oh yeah subscribe like, like. thanks you guys have a good night <laughs>